And you'll notice in our uh, demonstrations of tuning the, the Dorchik uh, sound strips that uh, I've labeled them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's just arbitrary. Uh, so this is no strip number 8, and this is the one that I'd circled. So this is where it changes. Um, so from here to there, it's connected to the center belt. That's the side used to raise. And so from the little circle down through the center to here, then this becomes a side to raise. And the, and the opposite's true. This would be to lower, to lower. So this is our next strip we're going to do. And these uh, tone strips, it seems odd, and Mr. Vigdorchik uh, discovered this after years of uh, labor. And um, so our goal is basically to get <coughs> have her plate, excuse me, <coughs> graduation. Uh, ideally, it'd be about 2.6 millimeters, but you got to work with what you got. And if it's too much, regraduate it, get rid of anything more than the 2.6. Of course, the edges and the ends here are the full 4 millimeter the glue contact areas. And this goes all the way across, leave that solid for strength. And uh, Guaneri and Strad, that's the way they did it, that's the way we'll do it. Um, but these actually work this way, and Mr. Vigdorchik discovered if you tune these to some certain frequency, and then you saw this plate apart on these lines, you'll find that the individual free strips have the same frequency. So uh, that's kind of interesting. So this is the strip we're working on again. So let's find the low point. Okay, in this case, the area in the middle here is high, so we'll just... So remember, we've already done from the line over, so we don't want to cross over this line. And the place being supported on the pad underneath here. Alright, and going this way. And let's see where we're at. Next to the uh, sound hole, still a bit high. You could use the sandpaper here too if we're concerned about the working too close to the edge here. Right near the very outside edge, is a bit higher. So I'm going to support it again on the pad. Yeah. We have our little reference tape here, so I can want to get disoriented. So our goal to start with is just to make this even all the way across. So in this case, we're taking off the high tone and leaving an even tone. Right near this very top here, it's a bit high. Now I'll just scrape right up. Okay, let's see what we're doing. What the tone is is not really important, it's just so it's even. Because when we scrape on the side that's attached to the uh, sound hole, which in this case is this side, was over here, but now out on the other side of this line we've marked with the oval, 
uh, it switches over to this center valve. I think you can see this is a little lower, but let's find out where we're at. That's what we want. That's lower. That's higher. That's lower. So for 166, we want it to be 176. So again, since this, this is side attached to the center bout, and it goes from here um, all the way down. No, that's not true. It goes from this, the dotted line goes from here all the way down to there. So we take material off this end from there to there to raise these tone strips. So again, we're going to go out about um, three quarters of an inch, and this is the material we're going to remove. And we'll try to remove that evenly with a scraper. The scraper you can kind of see um, as you take off kind of the oxidized wood. So that's what it was. Now it's higher than that. Getting close. Above 176, below 176. So we bracketed it. Below, above, below, above, below, above. Well, that one's all tuned. And I forgot to put the timer on, so I'm going to put it on now. And we'll probably do three strips since we were able to do uh, about three in the last uh, 17 minutes of recording time. And these will probably start going uh, quicker. i got to remember which we're going down, we're going down this way. We've already done this area up here. So, good to have these little tape references. Um, so, this is the next strip. So, this is their lowest part. Very similar. So this is the highest, and then we'll All right, this area is kind of a you know, higher area. So it's better to kind of sneak up on these things rather than taking too much off. Okay, it's a nice little bit here. I want to go above this line since we've already tuned up here. A bit high there. Here the line. Now notice I'm not going over the line because of the curvature of the paper. Alright. 
feel the scraper is um, getting the grain wrong, just change the direction. They restored the line. Now this is um, on this. So this area is a bit high. We want that to match. Okay, I'm going to support the wing. should run under here from washing uh, the top of the plate. The first thing we're doing is going to get rid of that varnish. Okay, we'll compare. Again, we have the blue on the plate. Okay, we'll take a little more off there. You go out on this wing, it goes up here right at the end. Being careful to support that. And you can do it with your finger too. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Okay, let's see which one we've got going here. That's what we want. about it. That's above. That's below. So I'd say about 166. So we go to the side that's attached to the center bout and that'd be this area. We're going to go out about three quarters of an inch. So it's basically just this area we're going to be working on. And because it's a uh, So I'm going to support with my fingers underneath here. And again, I'm supporting. We'll use a little sandpaper to add to the mix. Here we're staying away from the glue contact area. Alright, let's see how we've done. So just sanding here, see how it did. 170 is lower. Now we're moving up. Slightly low. Slightly low. We're bracketing 176 above, below. So now and of course the sound goes right through the top, so we have all this is even now. Slightly low, slightly above, 176. Okay, we're moving that direction. And see if we can squeeze in one more strip. Now it's going to be this strip. And we'll put a new piece of tape here. Get rid of our old tape. And it's the same thing again. We're going to look for the, the lowest point. That'll become a reference. And we use that lowest point to make everything even, and then we use the end of the strip to move it in the direction we want. So 
So pretty low here, pretty low here. A little high. You could even do it like this if you want. A little high there. A little high up here. Slightly high there, but... And then uh, just use your scraper to remove that material. Again, we want to stay below this line because we've already tuned this part. Okay, peeling the grain. Don't want to go over this line. Imagine if you got good enough, you could hear the tone of the scraper itself as you went along. Know when you're uh, with the right frequency. Alright, let's move this up here. And this is just uh, 150 it's Imperial Eastman sandpaper. Really high quality. Use that to make sanding belts for finishing cabinets and so on. Okay. Now this area is high. Might be running out of time just any minute here, so same idea though. If they can even 